a gentleman off it and a demon on it. Seems to describe a top wrestler's relationship with the sumo dohyo. Tomokaze is clearly the former, a la here. But post injury, we asked, could he ever be the latter? Then came May, when we learned the answer is yes. Mentor Yoshikaze's cry of come back stronger was embedded in his thrusts and bolder forward movements, as Osanai found in their first ever match, buffeted at will at the end. And throughout it was as if all those cuts he sustained in March, he sought to transfer to his foes in some grand leveling up of third tier justice. Like so, for instance, cuffing a flustered Fukai sideways. And he was not in bad form. His throat was simply so well caught and held by that pinpoint left. Kainoshima's bid to come in low was rebuffed as he was promptly shown the exit door behind him. <laughs> While a slick combing of Hamayutaka's hair brought up the winning score. That set up this fascinating face-off with Uni Champion Or Shoma. <laughs> Which Tomo probably should have won from this position here. But a supple torso and windmilling right rescued Stance for the Mongol and allowed him to prop and flee. But Tomokaze's reaction was splendid. His right knee solid even turning well against Tsurubayashi. The final match was all about rank. This hit firm and cuff display taking him up to the third highest rung of the division. That's what I meant in my rankings chart piece when describing him as much recovered and to regain pay and erstwhile silk sash in July, he may not even need to win six.